Problem number one, rectangular reinforced concrete beam with effective depth of 500 mm and width of 250 mm is subjected to 150 kN bending moment. The beam is reinforced with 425 mm bars. Use alternative design method and modular ratio n is equal to 9. Alternative design method is yung transformed. Dun sa lecture natin. What is the maximum stress of concrete? What is the maximum stress in steel? What is the total compressive force in concrete? So, stress, ang hinahanap natin dito. Ang formula ng stress sa concrete, so designate natin ng Fc is equal to mx over ig. Samantalang si steel ay Fs is equal to m, tapos distance nito. So, mx or md minus x over i sub g. So, mapapansin nyo, Fc prime, di ba yung ultimate? Tapos, yung Fy, yield naman yun. So, samantalan dito, ito yung mga allowable. So, Fc allowable. Okay. Tapos, Fs allowable yield. So, mas mababa. Compare mo sa ultimate. So, first, kunin natin yung Neutral axis, yung x distance, okay? But before that, yung given muna na d is equal to 500, b na 250, uh, modular ratio, n is equal to 9, moment na 150 kN meter and then yung river na gagamitin is apat na 25 mm diameter bar okay sa pagkuha ng ng neutral axis gagamitin natin yung ganitong formula so uh, B times X which is area nito gross moment of inertia kasi ang ang kailangan nating makuha so bago yan kukunin muna natin yung neutral axis nung dalawang material which is concrete at saka steel so B times X area times X over 2 so kalahate dito from this, yan, x divided by 2, centroid, is equal to NAS, yung, ito yung transformed, so NAS, uh, okay, times D minus X. Yung transformed, or yung S is equal to modulus of elasticity ng steel all over modulus of elasticity ng concrete. Modular ratio. So, substitute natin dito 250 times X squared divided by 2 is equal to 9 AS which is apat na piraso times 25 squared pi over 4 times 500 na effective depth minus x. Simplify natin, magiging 125 x squared, 250 divided by 2 is equal to 9 times 4 times 25 squared divided by 4. So, cancel yung 4. So, 6 
5625 in terms of pi tayo. Pero pwede rin i-convert nyo yan. Times 500 minus x. Okay. I-more simplify natin. Yung 5625 pi times 500. That is equal to 28125 in terms of pi minus 5625 pi x 125x squared. Transpose natin yung itong dalawang term sa kabila into para maging 0. So, 125x squared magiging plus na 5625x minus 2812500 is equal to 0. So, x squared compute natin kung ilan kung anong makukuha natin x which is dalawa so, designate natin na x1 is equal to 204.42 and then x2 is equal to negative 345.79 So, wala namang negative na distance So, ito yung gamitin natin Use 204.42 42 na x use x equal to 204.42 mm then sunod natin gawin is moment of inertia I of G. Gross moment of inertia. IG is equal to neutral axis summation of nung dalawang materials, concrete saka steel. So, kay concrete, 1 over third BX cube. Kapag ka nataon na yung rectangle is within the bottom Nung neutral axis, ito yung formula. Plus, yung steel, NAS, times distance from neutral axis na D minus X. So, one third times B natin is uh, 250. Now, tama, 250. Times X na 204.42. Plus, Modular ratio na 9 times area of steel. So, 4, 25 squared, pi over 4, times 500 minus x na 204.42. So, wala na. Ilagay ko na lang dito. 204.42. Okay. Kakaroon tayo ng value dyan ng IG na 2255762 point something yan. mm to the fourth. So, meron na tayong IG. Meron na tayong moment. Meron na rin tayong X. So, makukuha na natin yung stress, maximum stress ni concrete and maximum stress ni steel. Kaya maximum kasi dito sa extreme fiber. Ibig sabihin yung stress ni concrete sa taas mas malaki, tas palit ng palit hanggang sa, sa pagka neutral, neutral axis na itong compression dito, wala na, halos, wala na. Kaya maximum, ang kinoconsider natin yung dulo.
then formula ni f sub c is equal to m x over i sub g moment is 150 kilonewton meter times yung extreme fiber na distance 204.42 mm divided by 2255762 mm to the fourth so para maging yung stress natin is megapascal which is Newton per mm squared. Convert natin to yung meter tsaka kilonewton. So, 1,000 newton is equal to 1 kilonewton. Tapos, 1,000 meter. 1,000 mm is equal to 1 meter. So, 1,000 squared. So, dalawa yan. Si kilonewton tsaka si meter. So, times 1 million. Okay? Rewrite natin, 150 times 1 million, ito yung conversion, times 204.42 divided by 2255762. So, stress ni concrete is equal to... Thirteen point fifty nine Newton per mm squared or thirteen point fifty nine mega Pascal. Mula na tayong pesto. So kay steel naman, F of steel is equal to moment x. Pero hindi x, yung isa, si d minus x. Your distance from neutral axis. Times i sub g. Yung moment natin is 150 kN meter. Tapos convert natin, same as nung concrete kanina. So, times 1000 squared. Yung depth natin is 500 minus yung neutral axis na 204.42 yung x divided by yung ig natin the same pa din which is 2255762 mm to the fourth so kanina napagtugma natin yung mga mga unit so ito naging newton mm na kasi kinonvert natin so, ang stress na makukuha natin dito is 19.65 newton per mm squared or 19.65 mega pascal. Okay, so yan na yung sagot sa pangalawa. Yung una kanina si concrete so ito na yun and then yung last what is the total compressive force of the concrete so kapag kadrenowing natin yung stress diagram nito so linear, linear pa din siya so, stress diagram si steel uh, ah, meron tayong kulang kay steel dapat i-multiply pa siya ng modular ratio so times 9 pa or pwedeng dito Divided by 9. Kasi yun yun. So, ito rin yun. Nakalimutan ko lang ilagay dito. So, yan. Yung stress 
sa tension kasi linear yan uh, fs over n tapos fc okay so ito may equivalent tayo na compression dito tapos may equivalent tayo na tension so yung hinahanap dun sa question is com total compressive force in concrete so c c lang yung yung t hindi na so c is equal to one half kasi triangle one half times yung area nito so one half times fc times x tapos yung width di ba pagka 3d yan ayan siya 3d so yung b times natin sa b so one half tapos fc kanina yung value ng fc is 13.59 times x na 204.42 times width na 250. So, check natin yung unit. So, yung 13.59 is newton per mm squared. Tapos, itong si x ay mm tapos si B ay mm din. So, cancel, cancel, cancel. Newton. Ang new, newton ang makukuha natin dyan. 0.5 times 13.59 times 204.42 times 250. So, 347 1,258 newton or is equal to 347.26 kilo newton. Ayan. Okay? Okay.